into your February 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You for the Beautiful Sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello, Aries. Um, you will not be extended, but I will be extending it just a little bit on camera. So I'm going to do, I've already done a half pre-shuffle here, and the other half I'm going to go ahead and take on screen um, because I do see some completions going on, Aries. Um, some moon rising and Venus and I want to discuss them in depth uh, because your video will not be extended okay so first and foremost thanks so much for uh, stopping by I am Marv I am going to be delivering the good word to you we are going to be examining what your partner didn't tell you this past week or what you guys could have experienced okay that's going to be from the 9th into the 15th so let's go ahead and see where we ended up okay um, I can let you know right now that there is an energy here of wanting you show up in your own reading Aries um, so the very first card out is your energy typically I take that as an indicator that you guys are probably mirroring one another It's very funny um, that I look down and I see that mirror card uh, mirroring each other self-image relationship reflecting on our wounds and introspection um, that's just a little freebie right there as I happened to look down and that card was up um, And I didn't even shuffle for this reading, but that's when I put that deck down. That's the card that was Facing me so, you know, so this is the king of swords here Aries um, your partner Is looking at you possibly or they are putting these down. We always read it from the perspective of the um, of what the person isn't telling you so I typically start off um, reading the energy and what they're not telling you um, and these are things that they either could be going through themselves or how they feel about the situation or how they're looking at you and how you're operating in this situation okay so um, this is also the Emperor so you show up so I feel like although they could be setting boundaries they still are looking at you um, as not budging right here the Emperor you know is the ruler of empires wise um, and very steady cautious you know an entrepreneur it can describe you but I don't feel like that's what's going on here I feel like mainly what's going on is that it's describing the sort of energy that's going on um, that is taking place so let me do one thing here so <clears throat> when I look at this 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 Emperor okay I feel as if your person is really seeing your energy shine shine through this reading um, they look at you possibly as very fathering um, very regulating um, but there is a opposite energy here and I'm taking it out of order right now the seven of cups okay so the opposing energy is a lack of order versus order so I feel like your partner looks at you as a type of uh, in a type of energy where you can dish it out but you can't take it do you understand what I'm saying Aries so it's like on one hand you rule the situation with a iron fist when it comes down to what you get back from people or in this relationship but when it comes down to what you put out you approach the situation more from what your options are rather than um, you're a little less organized okay um, you're very stern um, and you know wants order and regulation when it comes down to what you put out but what you I mean what you get back but when it's time for you to put something out it's the opposite energy okay that's what though when those two are combined um, and I feel like there has been some struggle and strife here um, but still in all there is an energy of this person really wanting you to kind of look at things from their perspective because I mean I can see what it is right now and they want you to come out of that energy where you can dish it out but can't take it Aries like what's good for you should be good for them and what they're seeing is you know you be a little lackadaisical when it comes down to the rules and regulations again but at the same time until we get the rest of these cards they still are very happy with this 
because they feel like that's some growth that needs to be done, but not that much. They really do like and are very enthusiastic about taking things to the next level with you here in this Four of Wands energy. Um, that is my marriage card. We will wait to see if that comes full circle when I get the romance cards. And the heart of the matter there is that wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. All Nine Cups overflow with love and you are the wish. So although you do have a dish it out but can't take it mentality, um, the, this person still wants to grow with you. They just wish that you would hear things and look at things from their perspective, I feel, um, mainly is the main um, issue right now, okay? You are very much so um, a wish for them, and they can look past that right now, okay? So this is that Seven of Cups. This is that that energy of having options, but not all of those options being viable. And this is an energy of, you know, you, you are obviously focused on other things in these cups rather than be focused here and they look at you like this but they're still again willing to take a leap of faith and this is the fool card okay um this is a fool card they want to reset and rewind this union okay this is what they want to do so we're going to be getting the um bottom of the deck energy we're going to shuffle for that i have the top of the deck already here Universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and show me the issues in this relationship at the peak of the past, okay? So, that's pretty cut and dry, Aries. I do see you shining through. What flipped over was two. We're going to take those, and they are, aha, juggling in the two of pentacles. This is juggling more than one aspect of your life, which definitely coincides with the seven of cups energy. Um... They want you to pay a little bit more attention and focus on them in the right way. Um, you're not using your intuition about the situation either, Aries, because right here, this is also the blended message um, for the Hierophant. I'm sorry, the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is all about secrets and um, the unknown. So that could mean that you're hiding something. I don't know. We're going to clarify this with a Romance Angel Oracle card. Um, and then we do have a Three of Cups. So... That celebration, that's parties, that's you kicking it with your friends. We're going to go ahead and see what that means in a second. Um, but uh, you are uh, juggling more than one aspect of your life, Aries, and your person is aware of that. Um, and what they would like for you to do is slow down. I'm going to wait until I get into the uh, peak of the sorry, the top of the deck energy for a second and start clarifying the bottom of the deck here with the romance cards and see where we are, okay? Because I'm, I'm curious about this uh, Three of Cups um, because it's calling out to me right now. It's talking to me. So let's start there. Okay. We have love yourself first that pops around. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I'm going to take that as a bonus right now. Show me, Spirit. What do we have for this Two of Pentacles? Give me the backstory for the Two of Pentacles. And it is, and they, it fell right out. Let's see what we have. Finances and career. So the reason why... It looks like you have been kind of all over the place, Aries, and your partner may not know this is because you're having some issues. Maybe they do know that you're trying to keep steady and, you know, be that emperor. You might own a business. You might um, definitely be managing more than one thing financially in your life. Um, so that's that's the reason why cross watchers if you're wondering um and i did it like that because i want to know i wanted to know what it was but then again we have this completely opposite energy here in this three of cups so um you guys more than likely get out and get together but what is this three of cups about and it is about whoa engagement so it looks like here Cross watcher for Aries, honestly, the way that I just did this, you still want obviously a relationship and you want to take it to the next level. Um, Aries, your person, 
is definitely wanting to, you know, engage in a higher level of commitment here. Um, so, you know, I'm feeling like I'm happy that that card came out because that we have two two marriage type cards here. Um, that's interesting to me. We have that. Let's go ahead and get the other one. So love yourself first is on the main board. Show me spirit. So they're happy when you guys go out together. I do not feel like that is anything malicious. Show me one more card, please. And then we're going to get the top of the deck energy guys on camera. So your person Aries wants a higher level of commitment with you. Um, they would like, I, I really do feel like they're telling you that they want to marry you. Um, they want the ceremony. They want, they want to, you know, engage. They, I mean, I feel like when that engagement card comes out, they, they want a reception. They're like planning your wedding. That's beautiful. That's kind of beautiful. Here we go. Getting to know one another. We'll take that. Oh, look at that. There we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course. Wedding. So as I put the deck down. All right. So top of the deck energy indicates that there is a ten of pentacles. So they want this with you. They want it with you, Aries. And it shows there that it's my ten of pentacles. That ten of pentacles is going to advance to the ace of pentacles. And what is the backstory behind that card is this wedding card. They really want it all with you. They want to get married. And in the other position, which I have not clarified yet, is the beautiful Ten of Cups. This is an overflow of love. You already have the nine in your heart, okay? Cross watchers for Aries. So Aries, they have the nine in their heart. And in their energy, they have a 10. They also have engagement and they have wedding. They want this with you. They're looking at you. They can plan your wedding. They can plan the reception. They want you, okay? And this is my 10 of pentacles, I'm sorry, my 10 of cups um, at my overflowing of love, complete happiness. But this is also the will of fortune. So there's going to be a change in fortune here. Okay, a change in fortune. Show me spirit. What's the backstory to this 10 of cups? Uh, they, they, want, they want it with you. Um, they really do. Okay. They want this. Show me for Aries, please. So they're not telling you this, and if they, they probably did. They're trying to stay optimistic, and they want this will to turn because, you know, there has been some things where maybe you were not focused on this. Maybe you guys didn't sit down and talk about this. Um, they're not telling you that this week. Maybe you will find out, though, because, you know, with that, with that Valentine's Day energy and, you know, retrograde starts tomorrow, but we're already in shadow there's been a lot of surprises that have been coming out, so they're not telling you, but that's definitely what they want. They want, and they're trying to remain optimistic about this um, because I don't think they have much faith. Although they are operating con on the contrary in the fool's energy, they're trying to remain optimistic at the same time. Okay, some of them are talking to their friends about the situation. Um, some of you guys, um, I don't see a separation. I see this weird face between you guys right now where, you know, there hasn't been any discussion about this. But I think Aries, based upon your behavior, they don't feel comfortable enough in sharing some things with you. Um, and, you know, maybe they had to take a step back and scale it down and start loving on themselves uh, more um, to make to to help pull you and draw you into them. OK. And very soon, they would like for you to make a decision because they do want to marry you. If they have not told you already, Aries, they will be soon. They're going to decide what they want so it comes. And they would like for you guys to get to know one another and really, really deepen this bond. Okay, this was beautiful energy. So I'm seeing you, Aries, had a really good Valentine's Day. I'm going to go ahead, before I get into a blockage, I'm going to give you this card. And I'm going to go ahead and take one of these Island Wellness Love cards just because I want to see what action they will take. And then we're going to get into your blockages and get you out of here, bud. This is the 
this is a beautiful read. Wow, Aries. This person really struggles with your behavior and um, accepting accepting your answers or your behavior is a little confusing. They don't think that you feel the same way, but you guys can't get to the Ten of Cups by yourself. So Cross Watcher, they really do love you too. But if you want to know how your Aries is feeling about you, I would suggest just booking a private reading. The Butterfly, yes, yes, thank you, Spirit. So for those of you who wanted to know, okay, The Butterfly. The relationship will evolve to the next phase. The inner child will be healing and there will be growth here, okay? So, yes. Um, I do see that. So, um, you know, hopefully that gave you what you needed, guys. Um, this is a simple reading, very cut and dry. A person wants to take this relationship to the next level, and they're a little unsure whether you feel the same. I'm telling you, um, whomever um, resonates with this, they do. I'm going to get your blockages and see if I can work in an angel answer. See if we can ask just one question because it's been very accurate. Okay. This is going to be another slightly extended, almost personal reading. It feels like I'm talking to a person. feels like I'm talking to a person here. All right. I am... The same as everybody, but with different challenges. There's an envious in, um, um, type of energy here, which is interesting. Um, someone is looking at someone else. If that is you who wants to get married to the Aries, please don't do that. Yes, indecision. So they are struggling with what they want to do in this relationship, guys. This is what's blocking this from growing right now. But it will be evolving I use my intuition in all aspects of life. I do feel like Aries, they feel like you're looking at other people. If it is the cross watcher, please don't compare your relationship to anybody else. You guys have your own unique path and struggles and, and strengths, and it's, it's not about anyone else, okay? Abundance, absolutely. We have I am a limitless being and can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So, you know, there's been a lot of this. This card has been coming out a lot. I feel like whatever it is, you can do it. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Um, I do feel like there was some doubt here, and that was what blocked it. Yes, and guilt is here. I think doubt is really far. Yeah. I release any beliefs that no longer sit, assist my soul's growth. So they are guilty as charged. Um, for possibly making some mistakes in how they were feeling and viewing the union. But Aries, I do feel like a good majority of this is um, you as well uh, because they're feeling like the way in which you looked at this situation caused it to be a little stagnant. Um, but let's see. I'm going to ask the angels how they feel one time and let's see what happens. So, universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and give me one. I'm only going to pull one since we've already slightly extended this for Aries. Will Aries ask Cross Watcher to marry them? Or will they accept what is going to go on here? Give me one answer, please. And we will take the card when it's flipped over, okay, guys? We will take the deck when it's flipped over, so technically you will get two, okay? Show me, spirit. Show me. This is getting on my nerves. I'm sweating. Show me, spirit. Whoa! So if you can believe, then you will achieve. If you believe in this um, cross watcher, then your Aries will do it. You have to step out on faith. It looks like you are walking into that. Sorry for shaking the camera. We flip over and it's trust. So you're being guided to trust the process. And if you believe this, this will happen, okay? And it's just as simple as that. Where you place your belief is what will happen. You have to um, release that doubt. It will happen if you believe and trust it, okay? Trust that it if you believe. So 
that was beautiful like share subscribe to the marvelous tribe what aren't they telling you well they're not telling you really this week or they i feel like they probably will but what they aren't telling you if you don't know yet is they really want to marry you they they really want this to be their last relationship they, they're they're tired of playing and they really want these two tens they they want this particular cycle that you in that you're in to be the end and they want these two tens with you so um i love this there's going to be a change in, in the cycle, and I love it for you guys. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope this energy resonated with at least one Aries out here, and I will see you guys when we do it again next week. Bye, guys.